section 3.7 implicit differentiation so uh, to understand about the implicit differentiation for example let's say you have y equal x squared then if you want to find out the derivative of y with respect to x it's easy you can just say okay derivative of y with respect to x is just use the power rule which is 2x so here is the relation between y and x and there we can see direct relation okay so finding the y of finding the rate of change of y with respect to x is easy but for example let's say we have different kind of equation like x square plus y square equal 1 okay so we know that this equation represents a relation between x and y but it's not direct relation like where you can you know find y as a function of x like this y as a function of x here we don't have y equal something so in this kind of scenario situation if we want to find out derivative of y with respect to x then that's called implicit differentiation you know where you have an equation between variables but it's not easy to express y as a function of x like this then still you need to find out the rate of change of y with respect to x then we need to do a you know derivative that derivative is called implicit differentiation so how do we do that so this is the problem for example x square plus y square equal one and we want to find out the rate of change of y with respect to x here then to do that to do the implicit differentiation first of all differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x treating y as a differentiable function of x so if we diff if we try to find out the derivative both side with respect to x that's our first step the derivative of x square with respect to x which is uh, you know 2x and derivative of y square with, res with respect to x and on the right side the derivative of 1 with respect to x is 0 remember when we do the implicit differences and this is what we need to understand the derivative of x to the power n with respect to x is n times x to the power n minus 1 that's called power rule but if you are looking for the derivative of y to the power n n could be any integer it's not the same one okay it might be different one and here we are trying to find out with respect to x the derivative of this can be found by using implicit differentiation okay uh, meaning uh, we can use the chain rule and then we can find out the derivative of this so the derivative of this can be found by using the chain rule so first of all find the derivative with respect to y and then you know just multiply that by dy over dx this dy and this dy they are just cancel out so eventually that is n times y to the power n minus 1 times dy over dx so whenever we need to find y to the power some find the derivative of y to the power something this is the formula we are going to use so here in this problem step 2 the derivative of x square is 2x the derivative of y square is by using this formula it would be 2 times y times dy over dx so now because we are looking for dy over dx so we bring everything on the right side so meaning just subtract 2x first and that will be 2y times dy over dx equal negative 2x and then divide both sides by 2y so if you do that so the derivative of y with respect to x is negative x x over y okay that's that's the answer the derivative of y with respect to x is negative x over y so this derivative is called implicit differentiation let's do uh, some more examples here let's say uh, you know we have an equation between x and y this is the equation and using this equation we want to find out the rate of change of y with respect to x so we're going to follow these steps step one and two we're going to find out the derivative both side with respect to x so uh, differentiate both side differentiate both sides with respect to x so while differentiating you you have to differentiate every single terms 
so you have to differentiate x cube which is 3x square now when you try to try to find the derivative of the second term which is a negative 27 xy if you try to find out the derivative of this because there is a x times y you have to use the product rule so you can bring that negative 7 27 outside and use the product rule for x times y the derivative of x times y so if you use the product rule the first time find the derivative of x which is 1 so the left over is y plus second time just leave the x and find the derivative of y with respect to x which is dy over dx so that's the derivative of the second term if you distribute this negative 27 it will be negative 27x times dy over dx so eventually that is negative 27y minus negative 27x dy over dx plus find the derivative of y cube if you remember this formula here the derivative of y cube with respect to x is 3 times y square times dy over dx so that's a 3 times y square over times dy over dx so these are the derivative for the first second and third term on the left side the derivative on the right side is 0 because the derivative of 1 with respect to x is 0 now that's the first step differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x now the second step is collect the terms with the dy over dx on the one side so as you can see that this term has a dy over dx this term has a dy over dx so we just keep them on the left side and everything else will go to the right side so we have to bring this 3x squared to the right side we have to bring this 27y to the right side and we can do that if we just subtract so if we just subtract let's say 3x squared and add 27y subtract 3x squared and add 27y if we do that and that will give us you know this thing now just you know in between these two terms just factor out dy over dx and write down the leftover thing here so I'm going to factor out dy over dx the leftover thing would be negative 27x plus 3y squared and on the right side it's a negative 3x squared plus 27y okay so now to find the dy over dx just divide both sides by this thing uh, so let's do that so um, here So we have to find dy over dx. We have negative 27x plus 3y square on the left side. So, so let's do that here. Let's divide both sides by this. So I'm just going to divide both sides by this negative 27x plus 3y square negative 27x plus 3y square. So the dy over dx is dy over dx is dy over dx is just copy that copy this one negative 3x squared plus 27y and negative 3x squared plus 27y over uh, negative 27x plus 3y squared negative 27x plus 3y squared if you want to you know simplify this more you can factor out negative 3 on the top that will give you x squared minus 9y and uh, negative 3 on the bottom that will give us 9x minus 3y so we can cancel this 3 and negative 3 so eventually the derivative is x squared minus 9y over 9x minus 3y so that's the answer okay okay so let's go to the next page find out the derivative 
before you do the derivative uh, first of all we have to know this derivative of e u where u is function of x derivative of this kind of function with respect to s x is e u times derivative of u with respect to x okay and uh, another thing is if you have sine v where v is also function of x then derivative of sine v with respect to x is cosine v times dv over dx okay so we're going to use that fact here so because this is a relation between x and y so we need to do the di implicit differentiation so differentiate both sides differentiate with respect to x so on the left side by using this formula where u is 7x the derivative is e to the power 7x times derivative of 7x with respect to x equal the derivative of sin x is quotient x plus 2y times look at here the derivative of sine v is quotient v times dv over dx so in this case v is x plus 2y x plus 2y so on the left side e to the power 7x the derivative of 7x is just 7 on the right side it's a quotient x plus 2y and find the derivative of x which is 1 derivative of 2y is 2 times dy over dx our ultimate goal is to find the dy over dx and for that we can bring this thing on the left side and 1 on the left side and that will give us dy over dx so if i simplify this 7 e to the power 7x minus cosine x plus 2y minus 1 equal 2 times dy over dx so since our goal is to find dy over dx we only just divide both side by 2 so that is our dy over dx that's the final answer 7 times e to the power 7x minus cosine x plus 2y minus 1 over 2 okay let's go to next problem the next problem is find the the tangent line make sure that if you have a curve and if you want to find uh, equation of tangent line at any point at any point in this case it's a 1 comma 7 you need to find the slope of that curve at that point slope means derivative so you need to find out the dy over dx at this point so here as you can see that the curve is uh, you know x square times y square equal 49 so we need to use the implicit differentiation for finding the slope so let differentiate this equation differentiate with respect to x on the left side you can see that there is x square times y square so you have to use the product rule and if you use the product rule you have to find out the derivative of x square for the first time by leaving the y square and then you have to leave x square and then find the derivative of y square and on the right side the derivative of 49 is 0 so the derivative of x square is 2x times y square and this is x square times the derivative of y square is 2 times y times dy over dx so eventually dy over dx is bring this term to the right side so just subtract 2x y square and then divide this by this one 2x square y so dy over dx would be negative 2x y square coming from here and then divide by this which is 2x square y if you divide by this term you can cancel 2 2 and x x and y y so eventually the derivative is negative x over sorry negative y over x so that's the you know slope uh, that's the rate of change of this curve but we need to find out the slope at point 17 so we need to find this dy over dx at 17 so i'm going to do that here slope of this tangent line is dy over dx uh, when x is uh, you know uh, 1 and then y is 7 so just plug here this value negative 7 over 1 so the slope of the tangent line at this point is negative 7 so what is the equation of tangent line equation of 
the tangent line tangent line is y minus y1 equals slope x minus x1 equation of any line with a given slope m and passing through a point x1 y1 is this one so we just have to plug the value of slope which is negative 7 x1 which is 1 and y1 which is 7 okay so let me just add one more line here m is negative 7 x1 y1 is 1 comma 7 that's the value right x1 y1 is 1 comma 7 the slope is negative 7 the equation is y minus y1 which is 7 slope is negative 7 times x minus x1 which is 1 so if you just distribute this negative 7 here it will be negative 7x positive 7 so if you add just 7 here eventually y equal negative 7x plus 14 so this is the equation of tangent line at this point 1 7 we also have to find the normal line the relation between the tangent line and the normal line is they are perpendicular of each other so meaning is if m is the slope of this tangent line then negative 1 over m would be the slope of this normal line so we already know that the slope of the tangent line is negative 1 over 7 so slope of the normal line slope of the normal is reciprocal negative of reciprocal of this so negative of 1 over m which is negative of 1 over negative 7 which is 1 over 7 now the equation of normal is you know the very same equation but we just have to replace this slope by 1 over 7 so equation is equation is very same point which is y minus 7 equal the slope is 1 over 7 instead of negative 7 x minus 1 so you just have to simplify this you just have to bring this 7 to the right side and simplify the you know uh, for y which is x over 7 negative 1 over 7 plus 7 that gives you uh, that gives you positive 48 over 7 so this is the equation of the norm okay